Dermot Connolly, the former Dublin GAA star, winner of six All-Irelands and a number of All-Stars, he pleaded guilty last week in the District Court in Dublin to assault in an unprovoked attack on two men at the end of 2022, 31st of December 2022. He was in the District Court there last week and the judge ordered him to pay compensation to the two men, 1,000 euros each, and she adjourned sentencing then until June the 27th. The guards that gave evidence made, or the prosecuting guards said that the two gentlemen, uh, the two victims of the assault, that they made statements and identified Dear McConnelly uh, as the offender. They said that the attack, the assault was completely unprovoked and that he was punched and dragged in the ground by Mr. Connolly, resulting in Mr. Connolly ripping a North Face jacket belonging to Mr. Kiley. It was then reported that Mr. Grimes, the other chap, came to the aid of Mr. Kiley and was subsequently assaulted also, having received a punch to the right side of his face by Mr. Connolly. A Garda interview then, or a Garda evidence about the interview with Dermot Connolly, said that the interview uh, the accused uh, was of a uh, no comment nature. CCTV from the evidence from the area was uh, obtained. The judge then asked if the two gentlemen injured, injured parties were present at the hearing and was told that they had come to court. However, the prosecuting solicitor uh, explained that they decided not to hang around after learning about the course their attacker had taken. By that, Dear McConnelly had indicated that he was going to plead guilty, so they didn't hang around. The judge noted that they suffered facial bruising and swelling, but did not want to provide victim impact statements. The assault charge in this case is in a category that could result in a sentence of up to six months in prison per offence, but the judge noted that Connolly had no recorded convictions. You will recall, you may recall, that Connolly was charged with assault previously a number of years ago there, and uh, in that particular case, if memory serves me right, he pleaded guilty and got the Probation Act. So there was no recorded conviction out of that, even though he had pleaded guilty, I believe, uh, at the time. And as I say, he got the Probation Act, therefore there was no recorded conviction. His defence solicitor, Daniel Hanahoe, one of the uh, Hanahoe, Tony Hanahoe, presumably uh, son of Tony Hanahoe, or perhaps a nephew of Tony Hanahoe, the great Dublin footballer, uh, said the court, uh, told the court that his client has, is an electrician and has two young children. The solicitor said it was New Year's Eve and that Dear McConnelly did not remember the incident. He said it was a regrettable incident, regrettable that he got involved in that situation at all. The solicitor said that the second injured party was assaulted after he intervened and ran after Connolly, who had not wanted the incident to continue any further. The, Mr. Hanahoe suggested that his client could bring some compensation for them, so the judge described it as an unfortunate offence. She remarked that Connolly dealt with the situation appropriately. She noted he informed the prosecution he'd plead guilty, relieving the witnesses from having to give evidence. She told him to pay a thousand euros to each complainant and suggested doing it that day. So Connolly says, I'll get it today. The judge cautioned that he may be unable to withdraw the sum, or the defence cautioned rather, that he may be unable to withdraw the sum sought. But the judge replied, carpe diem, revolute, phone a friend, get it done. Connolly left to get the money but the case was adjourned until his return. However, three hours later, Connolly hadn't come back, so the judge saw that he was still not back and granted a four-week adjournment. So Connolly, uh, that sentencing will be later in the month. I think it's the 22nd of June or thereabouts. So Connolly has six All-Irelands and he has two All-Star Awards, four league titles, 10 Leinsters. So that's Dear McConnelly, the former Dublin footballer, pleading guilty to an unprovoked assault in the district court last week in Dublin.